Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you of the tremendous power one has in the ability to unlearn. Now, along our journey, we have various ideas, uh, material things that we give our attention to. Not condemning that at all. It's part of the journey. But when we learn something in our life, uh, whether we do it intentionally or not, it's based upon the attention that we give it. So being able to unlearn behaviors or beliefs, it doesn't come down to an exercise of will or might. It comes down to removing the attention that we give something that's in our words. So in doing so, we replace the time or energy that we give to one thing and we apply it to something else. This in and of itself is a method of our learning. Now how we go about it is on us. But when we think about the things that we have changed or even the things that we have accepted in life and chose to maneuver a different way or replace a habit or idea. It's simply about giving that attention and energy to something else, whether it be time, resources, it doesn't matter. But the ability to do such, which all of us have, it's a powerful, powerful trait. It doesn't matter how long we have spent forming a habit, there are studies that say it takes uh, 20 to 30 days, sometimes 60 days to break habits. Okay, maybe. For some of it more, for some of it be less, that's okay. I'm simply reminding you that sometimes replacing elements in our life with something else, even something that's foreign to us, to where we have to start from scratch then it's okay. And most of the time it's very helpful because we could look in hindsight and we could say, well, this didn't work for me and that didn't work for me. But being able to know that from the experience of that idea or belief that you've learned to give an attention to, you can move on to something else knowing that you understand the outcome of the previous thought or idea. So moving to something else, we don't even have to look at it as replacing. We could simply look at it as creating the new experience. Now that can be in learning a skill set. That can be learning more about uh, various ways in which this reality operates. Whatever piques your interest. And sometimes it's even safe to pick something that doesn't pique your interest. Simply to give it a shot. It's not about finding all the things that will fulfill you in life. It's simply about expanding yourself and understanding that the awareness that comes with that expansion is what feeds the fulfillment in your life. You could pick up a new skill and you don't have to be the best ever. But something about connecting with a, a new perspective Something about the in and of the self fuels a desire within you. And if you get so engaged with it, you might ignite a fire that you didn't even know was dying out. Or there could be other aspects, which I see many people do when it comes to physical health. Some people dive deep into working out weights, could be yoga, what have you. Doesn't matter. But in doing so, they find a desire that's within them to give that avenue of their life attention. Some people take a, a intellectual route and they learn and learn and learn. And sometimes they practically apply it. Sometimes they don't. But it's something within that process that feeds their fire. And that's beautiful in and of itself. I'm not going to prescribe any lane for you. 
I simply want to remind you that whatever you give your attention to really does grow. So why not feed those things that give back to you? If anything, help you live an inspired life. I'm not talking about inspiring the masses. I'm simply talking about inspiring yourself to be involved in your life as you like it and love it to be. The ability to unlearn is powerful in and of itself. With that said, be blessed and please don't forget to smile.